Hey, it's Caitlin, and I am back with some new recipes. Today, I thought I would start with a summer pasta dish. This is a dish that I love to make at the peak of summer when tomatoes are really in season. These are sun golds. They are little um, golden tomatoes. They are juicy and sweet. And I like to make these uh, with a, oh, that was such a good one. Okay, one more time. These are sun gold. Now I'm out of breath one second, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, one more time, I got it. I'm back with some new recipes. Okay. <sighs> but today I'm going to use them in a fresh pasta sauce. I think you're going to really like it. It takes under 30 minutes, it's really easy, and it's absolutely delicious. And so let's get started. The first step is to prep the ingredients for the sauce because once we get it started, it moves really quickly. So I like to have everything prepared first, starting with four garlic cloves, the chili pepper, and the tomatoes. I like to just do really thin slices, a pretty good amount of garlic because there's so few ingredients. I'm using a fresh chili. I typically would probably use dried red pepper flakes, which is absolutely delicious to use as well. Chilies are in season. I think it's nice to use a fresh chili. For the tomatoes, I like to remove the tops and keep them whole, and then reserve a third of the tomatoes and slice them in half, so they'll start to break down and really meld into the sauce. It'll be absolutely delicious. Another ingredient in the prep is lemons. I like to zest two lemons as well as use the juice. Okay, pasta. So I decided to go with dried bucatini for this, which is very much like spaghetti, but it has a hole running through it, and it's so delicious with this dish in particular. But you can use any pasta you want. So I'm gonna add this to heavily salted water and start the sauce. Now for the sauce. I start with heating a few tablespoons of olive oil and adding the garlic. I let that cook for a couple of minutes and add the rest of the prepped ingredients. After a few minutes of cooking, I will then salt the tomatoes, which will help them break down into the sauce. Now it's show time. I will reserve some of the pasta water just in case I need to use it to loosen up the sauce. Then I will add the bucatini directly into the sauce and really stir it so it's fully coated. Okay, and now we are going to plate this absolutely gorgeous pasta. So now I'm going to put some of this luscious sauce over the pasta and finish it with some of this fresh basil which smells unbelievable and a final grating of Parmesan cheese. There you go. I need a fork to eat it now. <laughs> oh man, this pasta is so delicious so sweet from the tomatoes. You get heat from the chili and the, hold on, one more time. <clears throat> the chili gives it heat, the basil and the lemon juice and lemon zest give it a real freshness. I think it'll be a dish that you'll wanna make all summer long, especially while tomatoes are in season. So I hope you enjoy. The recipe will be down below and I will see you next time with a new recipe.